What's up, everybody? My name is Brad. Good morning. How are you doing today? It's cold outside, but today we're here for, you know what we're here for. We're here for a book review, like always. Uh, if you happen to be new to the channel, just coming across this video for the first time, I read a lot of Indian small press horror, a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of sci-fi. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Check out some of the other content on the channel, and maybe you'll discover a book that you enjoy. But for today's book review, we're going to be talking about Scattered Little Pieces by my buddy, Wayne Benlin. I do want to say Wayne is my buddy. He's my virtual friend, if you want to call it that. Um, he's a great supporter of the channel. He's always commenting. Whenever I share a video on Twitter, he's always liking and retweeting and telling people to subscribe. And he's probably one of my biggest supporters that isn't a fellow booktuber. Uh, so I definitely appreciate all the support that Wayne has given me and the channel. Uh, I do want to say that because in no way did that shape my review at all. Uh, there's no bias here one way or the other. This is my honest opinion about the book. And Wayne was kind enough to send this all the way over from Scotland to me and sign it, which is really awesome. Uh, super nice dude, a super humble guy. Um, and I'm just appreciative that he sent it over to me and actually got some some work out uh, that people seem to really be enjoying. Uh, so what is this? Scattered Little Pieces. Uh, this is a collection of Drabbles. Um, I don't think I had ever read a Drabble before this. If I have, it might have only been one or two. Um, and to be honest, I didn't really know what a Drabble was. Uh, so what is Drabble, you're asking? Well, I looked it up on Wikipedia. Uh, the definition of a Drabble is it's a short work of fiction of precisely 100 words in length. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, you know, you learn something new every day. Um, on the surface, it sounds like it'd be pretty easy to write a Drabble. You know, it's only 100 words, but I bet it would be a lot harder than you think uh, writing a complete and concise little story within that 100 word constraint. Um, it probably takes someone uh, that's really good at wordplay and has a lot of patience to you know, cut out all the uh, extra fluff, trim off the fat, because uh, you know, if it's any longer than that, you know, your story is going to go over the 100 words and not be considered a drabble anymore. So to cut it down to this concise, perfect little story that still tells the complete story, um, it's probably a lot harder than you think it would be. So the stories collected here, they really cover all the bases. They run the gamut from funny to poignant, dark to sad, shocking to absurd. I think that's basically what it says on the back as well. Um, there's little bits of horror in here, little bits of darkness, some funny moments, some moments of levity. I think the best word to use to describe uh, Wayne's writing is clever. It's very clever writing. Uh, most of the stories have some sort of twist. Uh, where you know you're reading along and you think the story's about one thing, and then on the last few words, Wayne sort of turns it on its head, and it was about something completely different. Uh, but twist might not really be the right word. That almost feels like a cheap word to use. Uh, I think a better word to use would be misdirection. Uh, the the wordplay and the clever writing that Wayne put into the stories uh, really shows off. You know, at the beginning of the story, you think it's about one thing. And you read along and by the end you realize it's about something completely different it's misdirection you know you're looking over here because of the words wayne used when really over here this direction is what the story is actually about and it's really again that word again it's very clever writing very well done um, and i think the the stories that were able to pull that off that had that little misdirection in them those ended up being my favorite stories out of the whole collection um, now not every story hit with me some of them missed the mark and some I just didn't quite get, didn't grasp the concept of them. Uh, but those were few and far between. Uh, there's one story per page, and there's 124 pages. You know, so it's 100 plus stories. So the ones that didn't quite fit with me, work with me. You know, those were few and far between compared to all the other ones. Uh, the darker ones, the more horrific ones, the ones where you would sort of reflect back. Uh, those were the ones I gravitated towards the most. Uh, those really. Uh, sit well with me. I really enjoy those. I'm going to read um, a few of the stories that were my favorite, have them listed off here. Um, I could have listed a bunch, but I've only written down a few. Uh, so some of the ones I've truly enjoyed were MySpace, Trapped, Not on the Right Track, Stargazing, Doing Time, Mary's Letter, 
Time to Do the Right Thing, The Fear of Drowning, Insomnia, and Money Lender. Like I said, I could have kept going on. There's a hundred, you know, 20 some odd stories in here. And that's just, what, about 10 or so. I could have named a lot more. Um, this would be, it's almost like poetry. There are a few poems in here, but they're all really short, you know, little snippets of stories, little glimpses of stories. And this would be the perfect thing to take with you, have with you if you are in the mood to read, but don't have that much time. You know, maybe you're in pumping gas at the gas station or in the line at the grocery store and just have a few minutes to spare, you know, pull this out, read a story or two, you know, tuck it back away, come back to it later, read another story or two. This is the perfect type of book uh, for that type of reading. Just a few minutes here and there uh, with these little bits and pieces of stories. I did ask Wayne for his permission to read a story um, during the review, and I'm going to. I don't know if this one's my favorite, uh, but I do really enjoy this one. It's one of the ones listed, Doing Time, and it really shows off how, well, let me read it first, and then I'll say. All right, so Doing Time. 20 years it took for the sales to change my life. I think back to my grandfather's sticky hands, simpler times when I didn't have to remind myself about putting things back. Patrick usually at the wind-up, gave me good advice. Things get dirty inside, he said. Stay, fo stay focused. Make a ju- Messed it up. I'm starting over. Sorry. 20 years it took for the sales to change my life. I think back to my grandfather's sticky hands. Simpler times when I didn't have to remind myself about putting things back. Patrick, usually at the wind-up, gave me good advice. Things get dirty inside, he said. Stay focused. Adjustments take time. Solitude is part of the process. I followed everything he said, but now I'm old and, for, and forgetful, and who needs a clocksmith these days anyway? People use cell phones to tell the time. So yeah, everything in the shop's for sale, apart from this, my grandfather's clock. So that sort of shows the misdirection I was talking about. You know, for me, at least, the title, Doing Time, in that first line, 20 years it took for the cells to change my life. I thought it was going to be a prison story. And you read along and read along. By the end, you actually find out it's about a clockmaker. I just think that's pretty cool. So, in closing, to wrap this up, uh, witty and clever. There's that word again, clever. Very clever writing. Scattered Little Pieces by Wayne Finland is an example of a craftsman at work. Wayne is a wordsmith who honed his weapon of choice, the almighty pen, in the forges of creativity to mold and shape this entertaining collection of drabbles. Uh, so that's my review. I'm giving this four stars. I truly enjoyed it. It was very different than anything else I've really read before. It was unique, um, thoroughly entertaining little stories. And I like that you can read a story here and there and take your time with it. Uh, you don't have to read it all in one big chunk. It's not one long, concise story. Just these little snippets and glimpses into these different worlds that Wayne's created. But yeah, that is my four-star review of Scattered Little Pieces by Wayne Finland. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today, so thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.